Your mic's off. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, so yeah, um, we only have uh, we're running a little bit behind, so I'm going to go very quickly through this. Um, but just to share some context, um, so I live in Cusco, Peru, um, which is a very varied and a very um, yeah, diverse region from like altiplano uh, communities like this through to the jungle. Um, and it is, uh, there's a lot of um, indigenous norms, there's a lot of rural urban tensions, um, there is uh, a lot of very traditional families and very deeply rooted gender norms um, to the point that you can be kind of talking with um, people who are living in, uh, say, situations that I would identify as extremely um, uh, kind of sexist, and people can't even identify that there is a difference between the two experiences of like a male and a female. Um, and so what we were really trying to do was help people to understand a bit more about the communities that they're living in um, and do that through um, something called project-based learning, which um, if you're familiar with um, Harvard Project Zero is a methodology that they um, put forward. Um, and so this is the kind of household and person that we're, um, kind of family that we're working with in this project. These kids are obviously about a decade younger than the ones that we're working with. Um, and many families are doing jobs like this, like hand plowing, um, and yeah, uh, very traditional, um, rural roles. Um, and you have a lot of anti, uh, gender, um, groups in Peru. So this is a very famous one. Um, this tagline kind of means like, you don't mess with my kid. Like, you don't tell my kid anything about gender because I'm happy with this norm and I want them to, to stay with it. Um, and yeah, this is like one of their signs, which basically is saying like, don't make my children gay through telling them about um, gender. Um, and this is probably the most polite sign I could find um, on the internet. Um, so how does this relate to education? Um, so in Peru, 12% of children um, achieve a basic in um, literacy and, and numeracy. Um, and like basic is, is still pretty low when you look at it globally. Um, so we've got loads of kids who um, are just not even achieving um, anything that would get them close to uh, being able to get a great job. Um, and one of the problems, obviously, that comes with that is it's a lot of rote learning and there is no tech usage at all. Um, so I went into a rural school the other, um, the other week and <laughs> there was, they were very proud about their innovation lab and they'd got like some grant to actually have equipment in a school. Um, and the guy was very proudly telling me about this and all of the children were copying by like word for word from a PDF document and that was their tech lesson. Um, and so there is a lot to do by saying like, hey, here's a phone, you can actually tap a button and it will actually like go to another page. Um, these are really basic things, but people are just completely missing the idea that they can use tech for anything other than watching YouTube videos. Um, and so um, we started these mapping clubs in five regions across um, Peru. Um, and we have, uh, we go through this stage, so we don't tell people to map anything. We're like, what do you care about? What issue do you want to do? Um, and in groups of four or five, um, they come up with something that they're interested in and they do um, field mapping, basically, in their local community, um, which is this 0.5 Holden investigation. Um, then um, we help them um, to, use, uh, to use tools. Obviously, we surface to them, hey, this tool might work the best for this. Um, Kobo Toolbox is the, by far the most popular um, in that context because it, it's obviously very low barrier for them to participate with. Um, this is just a photo I really like of virtual reality for under 20 bucks. Um, and um, 
this is yeah, the type of girl that would be um, participating in our project. Um, and what do they make? Um, so this is uh, a group of five girls who were like, we were like, what's bugging you about your society? And they were like, it really sucks that I uh, take the bus to school and on the bus, on the journey, I see like all these incredibly sexist adverts and it makes me feel really bad and those people don't look anything like me and all of these boys in my class are posting these pictures on um, social media and it's such a basic thing I had never even thought of to map. Um, so they tagged on their journeys to school, they tagged the times that they encountered this advertising and they did little voice notes of their experiences on that journey um, and then they presented them to the local mayor um, which is pretty cool for a bunch of like 13 year olds who kind of feel passionately about a topic um, and this is them, uh, this guy with the small bald patch is the mayor um, <laughs> and um, yeah we're really about trying to get them like platforms to share their findings because um, they just don't um, normally get to have a voice or a platform to share that with anyone um, and so yeah we really want to do more than more about the, more of this um, I you know sit by my laptop at night hoping that someone somewhere will email me about anything vaguely related to gender and OSM. So if you're that person, please send me an email. Um